Hello and welcome. Jenny Hall here for Trinity Stamps. I've got three rainbow themed cards to share with you. They're all Halloween cards. They're perfect for teachers or kids, friends, anybody. There's not a scary look to them, so it makes them really versatile. I'm going to be stamping with the Shake Your Bones stamp set and dies from Trinity Stamps. Some mini slim line dies, and then here is the Rainbow Brights paper pad. And we'll be using some of these beautiful rainbow papers, and they're so pretty. I'm gonna start out by making some card bases. To make a mini slimline size, cut your cardstock down to six by six inches and score at three inches. It's really that simple. I'm using the Teflon burnishing tool from Trinity here. It helps me a lot whenever I'm burnishing those card bases. Here's a piece of light gray cardstock. I'm going to use some white embossing powder from Ink On 3 with some juicy ink, which is embossing ink, embossing ink from Ink On 3 also. And that's going to give my white embossed skeleton a gray background. The gray cardstock background is going to not compete with the rainbow, but it'll be a nice transition from the white embossed image to fade into the rainbow. So it's kind of like just a gray outline. Once I've sprinkled on that powder, then I will heat set the image. And I thought it might really be cool if we made another skeleton, but with a rainbow paper background instead of gray. This one can go somewhere else on the inside of the card maybe, but the whole idea of using that rainbow paper scrap really appealed to me because I don't like to throw away any paper, especially this rainbow paper. I hold on to every last little strip of it because you never know when you can work something into a project. So here we go with another skeleton. It's that same image. And I chose this one uh, compared to the other ones in the Shake Your Bones set because it kind of looks like he's surfing or sliding. And that reminds me of my kids. And so we're going to place this little surfing skeleton like he's surfing on a rainbow. Now I'm going to create my sentiment with some blackout ink from Ink On 3 that's available in the Trinity store. And then we're going to take that die cut panel, place it on there. Isn't that rainbow the coolest? I just love it. And then with some foam adhesive, I've got this cardstock. This is the gray cardstock skeleton. And look at how well that gray works. I'm so glad that sometimes I pick up a piece of colored cardstock and it doesn't work out and I have to redo it, but the gray really worked out. And we're gonna keep the sentiment really simple. These are gonna be quick and simple cards. And then we're going to take that rainbow skelly and put him on the inside. And that's kind of like a little nice touch on the inside. And he still looks multicolored rainbow. Can't beat that. Now here are the Bunch of Bones embellishment mix. These are some bones and they're kind of like really thick cut vellum. They're really hefty and they would work really great in a shaker card. But I've just placed some of those around. Now here's another piece of this Rainbow Brights paper pad. And I've die cut it to be the same size, the three by six as the card paper. And then I'm taking three different skeletons and I'll die cut them on another panel. And then I'm going to just quickly attach them all together. And we're going to use that effect of the rainbow to the, our best advantage. Now here's where you could make this a shaker card. Just raise up all of the the panel and use your different, your, your shaker components to make it a shaker card. Or I decided to just make it to where I could glue it directly down and I really, really want to see the rainbow. I want, that's what my main thing is going to be, is just the rainbow theme. So we've got all that glued down and I've taken a scrap of paper here. This is all about scraps. I tell you, I love using up scraps. 
I'm die cutting all of these words and then we'll adhere them down. We've got some fun sayings in the Shake Your Bones stamp set. This says bonjour. <laughs> My kids are going to love this. And we've got the fun stuff. This is Happy Halloween and Shake, Rattle, and Roll. And then let's add some more of those bones. The That's the bunch of bones embellishment mix. And there's so many bones that come in one package from Trinity. It's just, it's really a lot. So that's card number two. Now for card number three, I had those die cut paper pieces left over and this is more scraps that we're using up and I just love using up those scraps. So I figured let's make some ink blending. And so we've got like a rainbow that's going to cascade from one end of the skeleton people to the other end. And I'm just totally digging all the rainbows. All the Halloween rainbows are wonderful. So I'm just basically putting some Atelier inks from Ink on 3 that are available in the Trinity store and bringing from one rainbow end to the other. So that's going to be pink, orange, yellow. Then we've got the green and the teal. And then the last skeleton is going to have the blue and the purple. And aren't they so cute? And I used 110 pound cardstock, so they didn't really bend whenever I did the ink blending. So for the card background, I wasn't really sure how what to do, but I wanted to just keep it very simple. So I grabbed my acrylic block from Trinity Stamps and that same blackout ink pad and just started stamping. Now you notice the I'll only ink up the stamp once and get the darker image and then if I just take it straight back down to the paper again it gives me like a gray. That's the second generation stamping and that's just getting more out of my stamp pad and it gives a variation look. I didn't want this to look precise. This kind of looks like newspaper print to me which is I really find attractive and Look here, we're gonna add these little skeletons and then add some more bones. So we've got the bones on all three cards. We've got the rainbow on all three cards, the same stamp set with dies. This was just a really quick way to make up some cards. I plan to give these to my youngest son's teachers. There are three teachers in the classroom because he's in a special needs class. And rainbow is a really good thing for autism also. And this is a, an autism class. And I think the teachers are really going to dig the fact that these are not scary looking. I'd love to hear your thoughts, how you feel like maybe you could support some teachers for Halloween, or what are your thoughts on the rainbow Halloween. Thank you so much for watching with us today, and we'll see you next time.